please mute your microphones uh, during the presentation. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please wait towards the end as we'll have some time to go over those. Also, if you do have any uh, questions or comments, you're more than welcome to put them on the chat uh, on the bottom uh, right hand corner. So go ahead and get started. Also, before we get started, um, if we have anybody representing uh, Council District uh, 2, uh, if they have anything they would like to say or any comments regarding this project. OK, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, so good evening, everyone. Uh, this is uh, the pre-construction public meeting for the North Side Street Improvements uh, 2022 bond year two contract 10 uh, city project number 104243. Uh, my name is Christian Cardona. I am the project manager and the one presenting today. Uh, I work for the city of Fort Worth uh, Transportation and Public Works Department. Uh, on the call, we also have uh, the de design consultant and the contractor to assist with any questions that residents may have. So the meeting on this purpose is to provide the project scope and what improvements are in each street. Uh, the meeting is also provide information regarding construction and the anticipated ske the schedule uh, will be for each section. So here's the agenda for today's meeting, which I will cover. Uh, we'll go over the uh, project overview, summary of improvements, uh, construction information, proposed construction, uh, proposed construction schedule, and we'll leave it last for any questions or comments. So first we'll start off with the project overview. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, three separate streets. Uh, these are the project limits. All are funded by the 2022 bond. So I will go them uh, line by line. So we'll start off with Lincoln Avenue, which is number one uh, from West Central Avenue to Northwest 16th Street. On number two, we have Northwest 15th Street from Lincoln Avenue to Circle Park Boulevard. And number three, we have North Houston Street from Northwest 20th Street to Northwest 25th Street. Next, we'll move on to summary of improvements. So as you can see in all three streets, Northwest 15th, Lincoln and Houston, uh, they all have damaged pavement and driveways. And in some sections, uh, they have uh, sunken asphalt uh, over the years. So this will all be addressed uh, in this project. Next, we'll move on to summary of improvements for Lincoln Avenue and Northwest 15th Street. Uh, for Lincoln only, uh, they will begin upgrading an existing water line from existing 6 inch to an 8 inch water line. Uh, for Lincoln Avenue and Northwest 15th Street, uh, the paving improvements will be new concrete pavement with concrete curbs, a new concrete driveways with 11 foot minimum width or match existing, and 5 foot sidewalks on both sides of the street. We'll go ahead and move on to summary improvements for North Houston Street. Uh, so North Houston will be getting an upgrade of an existing water line from six inch to a new eight inch. Uh, for paving improvements, there will be new concrete pavement with concrete curbs, new concrete driveways with 11 foot minimum uh, width or match existing, uh, five foot sidewalk, sidewalks on both sides of the street from 20th to 24th Street, eight foot sidewalks in the stockyards area from 24th to 25th Street, and new pavement markings along with street parking spaces from 24th to 25th Street. Next, we'll go ahead and move on to summary of uh, proposed uh, summary of improvements in, uh, in the intersections along North Houston. So the stock area has experienced uh, significant growth within the past couple of years. So as a result, the city has hired a consultant to perform a transport uh, transportation uh, study in the stockyard areas to address issues pertaining to vehicle and pedestrian traffic and safety. So based on the study, these bulb outs will be installed at the intersection of Northwest 24th Street, West Exchange Avenue, and North, Northwest 25th Street along North Houston. Next, we'll move on to a couple of slides regarding frequently asked questions before the construction phase starts. 
the first question is, why are we doing this project? So as of May of 2022, residents of Fort Worth voted to pass a bond program to fund reconstruction projects and target locations most in need of improvements. In addition to the 2022 bond uh, program, the Fort Worth Transportation and Public Works Department is partnering with the Fort Worth Water Department to replace any utilities in need of improvements in this area. So how will we know construction is starting? So you will receive a seven day notice uh, via door hanger. Um, so these notices will be delivered for any major construction work that will happen uh, within the next week. Along with the seven day notice, you also receive a one day notice uh, via door hanger before construction starts. So will our water turn uh, be turned off? So during the construction of the new water line, there will be a few hours that services will be turned off. Uh, once to transfer the existing from the existing line to the temp, uh, temporary water line, and once to transfer the ser uh, services from the temporary line to the new line. Um, so the contractor will knock on the door and let you know when this is upcoming. So how does the temporary line impact my home and water bill? During the water line installation, uh, your service will be connected to a temporary water line. During that time you are connected to the temporary water line, you, your water bill will be based on the previous usage. So do you replace the water service line up to my house? So as part of the project, the city will replace the existing water meter, meter box, and the service line. The service line will be replaced up to the property line. So if you see water running down the street, don't be alarmed. Uh, as part of the uh, construction process, the water line has to be flushed and tested to ensure it is free of any contaminants. Uh, so please make sure to not make an effort to turn this water off. Uh, will the const uh, construction affect my irrigation? So in the case that you do have a sprinkler system, the contractor may want you to turn it on so they can locate it before they start work in any of your, that area. Um, any damage to the irrigation uh, during the construction is at the responsibility of the contractor. So are we getting new curb, gutter, and sidewalks? So all curbs, uh, all concrete curbs will be replaced on all bond funded streets, which will be all these three streets uh, that we just mentioned. Um, all driveways will re be replaced up to the property line. And uh, new concrete sidewalks are also included on all of the bond funded streets, which all three streets will be getting as well. So will I be able to access my driveway? So during most of the construction timeline, you will have access to your driveway. Uh, the only time you will not have access to your driveway is if the contractor is paving directly in front of your property or replacing the driveway itself. So what happens if my property is damaged? Uh, so the contractor is responsible for taking before construction pictures and videos. Uh, we also encourage homeowners or residents to take any uh, videos or pictures as well. Uh, any damage um, in private property during the construction is at the responsibility of the contractor. So will there be a lane closure during construction? Uh, so there will be lane closures during the water uh, installation as well as the subgrade preparation and paving. Uh, so there will be signs on each end to alert motorists of this. Uh, we also have down below uh, the hours of construction, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Friday, and if requested by the contractor, they're allowed to work from 9 to 5 on Saturdays. So will the city's trash truck be able to pick up my trash and recycling during construction? So in the case that your side of the street is closed, the contractor will move the trash to the opposite side of the street so that it can be collected for all residents. Um, we will make additional coordination for the businesses in the stock yards uh, for trash collecting, uh, trash collection as well. So 
So how do I report an emergency or non-emergency? So if you do have an emergency, uh, please call the first number. This is available 24 hours a day. Uh, for any non-emergencies, you can call the second number displayed. Uh, we also encourage residents to download the Fort Worth app to report any issues. It's a great app to have to get information regarding uh, uh, anything happening near your area or just to put any comments or concerns that you might have. So next we'll move on to construction phasing and scheduling. Uh, so for this project, the water line will be installed first. Uh, once that is complete, the contractor will install temporary pavement to allow traffic in and out until paving the paving contractor starts their work. So typical concrete construction process. Uh, for concrete streets, uh, existing curbs, driveways, and pavements are removed all at once. Uh, pavement and curb are installed together as a monolithic curb, uh, and driveways are installed uh, last. So this is just a picture showing a street recently finished to give you an idea of what your street will look like after construction. Uh, also, we have uh, some uh, pictures showing new sidewalk and new ADA ramps. Um, after completion. Okay, next we'll go ahead and move on to the project schedule. So as you can see, this is the anticipated construction schedule showing at what time the contractor will be in your area. Um, they they anticipate to start October 1st, 2024, and uh, I'll go through North Houston, Lincoln, and, and 15th Street line by line of what exactly they'll be doing at what time. So on North Houston Street, the utility will begin on October 2024 and end in February 2025. Paving will start in February 2025 and end in November of 2025. Lincoln Avenue, utility will start in February 2025 uh, and in April of 2025. Paving will start in May, actually uh, Lincoln and uh, Northwest 15th Street. May, uh, paving will start simultaneously in May 2025 and end in November of 2025. So where can I get more information? So on the first link, we'll take you directly to the project website. We'll um, while during construction, you can get monthly updates um, as to give you what's going, what's happening within that month and what's happening within the next month to, to keep you aware. Uh, you can also go to www.forwardtexas.gov and enter 104243, um, and it will take you directly to the project uh, webpage. Um, I also want to mention that this is recorded. Uh, th this uh, presentation is recorded and it will be uploaded to the uh, project website um, soon. Okay, before we move on to questions and comments, um, I just want to mention if anybody that is representing Council District Number Two, if they would like, if they have anything to say or have any comments regarding this project. Hello, Myra, District Director for Councilmember Flores. I'm just listening in. I have no comments or questions. Okay, thank you, Myra. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it up for any questions or comments. So at this time, if you would like to unmute your microphone and ask your question, that was, is fine. Or you can write your question in the chat and we will get to you. Okay, I see uh, Rick De Leon. Uh, yes, um, I'm representing All Saints Catholic Church and I guess the school as well. Um, when you begin the paving part, is it going to be a kind of a block at a time or how are you going to approach the when you start removing all the old pavement? Uh, I just want to go ahead and say, Rick, thank you for coming. Um, Dan, could you talk a little bit more about uh, the what's going to happen during the paving phase. I think that's what Rick was asking. 
Yes, be glad to. Um, the paving work, I, I think we've had some discussion about whether to start on the north end of Houston or south end. That's subject to events going on in the stockyard. And I, I would hate to say now what the weather will provide us opportunity to do in February. So regardless of which end of the job we start on, our, our paving operation is a continuous process. Uh, it begins once the utilities are all in, it begins with the excavation of the street. The, the work travels uh, block by block and as soon as an area is excavated uh, to the subgrade for the street, then the next crew that will move in behind the first crew will be doing uh, preparation work, treating the soil and getting it firm to hold up the pavement. And as soon as that area is ready for paving to begin, then the paving crew will follow behind. So uh, rather than string the job out over years to, to do a block at a time, we, we set up a continuous process. And, and the upshot of it is that anybody that deals with uh, the operation, regardless of where they are on the job, they're disturbed you know, a comparable amount of time because we don't go in and excavate the entire thing from one end to the other and then bring the next thing in. We, we do it as a continuous process. So uh, you can you can see the the way the process flows when they when they get there, but we will excavate full width of the street uh, as we go along. The paving when it's put down will be done one half at a time, uh, first one side of the road, then the other and uh, traffic will be kept going uh, to local for local access throughout the process. Uh, the only time that the property will be cut off uh, would be driveways. Uh, I know you've got a, I believe you have a, a drive, a, a parking lot for the church behind the building, if I recall. We will make that parking lot accessible uh, as you need it at all times. Uh, I'm going to have to get back to the job details to know exactly how we'll do that, but we won't close that kind of driveway. Uh, we'll we'll keep that open for him. Is that getting close to answering your question? Yeah, yes. And and for the church part of it, we can you know come in from 21st Street sure. through the through the back part of the property. I'm thinking more along the because of the school and the routes they take to drop off and pick up kids. Uh, since the, the principal is not on the call, I figured I would ask for okay. her behalf uh, just to know, we, are they going to have to reroute the parents? It, it might be period? that they might choose to, because when the work is going on, there's going to be equipment at times, you know, in the roadway. There per, could perhaps be delays while a truck loads or unloads or something like that. So they, what we'll do is we'll we'll reach out to the school directly, if that's through you or through someone else and make sure they're well aware of, of what's coming and how it will affect them. And then we can decide together. We, we do projects affecting schools fairly routinely, to be honest with you. And, and it's always simply just a matter of working with the, the, the school uh, to, to serve them as, as best we possibly can uh, while the work goes on. So we'll, we'll get our superintendents will be getting in contact with the schools and uh, working out the details as we go along. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thanks, Dan. And I just want to mention that this is Dan McClendon with McClendon Construction, so he is the contractor uh, for this project. Okay, do we have any additional questions for this project specifically? Okay, um, I went ahead and put the slide up showing my contact information. Uh, like I said, I am the project manager for this project specifically. Uh, so feel free to jot down my uh, phone number and email in case if you have any questions that might come up now during construction. Um, also, I have uh, the construction inspector, uh, Kevin Jackson, uh, his phone number and email. Uh, so he's going to be there majority of the time representing the city of Fort Worth. So he's going to be the eyes 
and ears while construction is happening. Um, so feel free to take down his information as well. Um, in case of uh, anything occurs during construction. Also, I want to mention one more time. So this is this presentation is recorded and will be uploaded to the project website uh, here shortly. OK, I'm going to go ahead and give you one more last call for any questions or comments before we uh, end the presentation. OK. Well, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, Appreciate it. And like I said, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to shoot me an email or give me a phone call. Thanks everyone and have a good evening.